So some really big news here, in my opinion, uh, assuming that Amazon actually follows through with what they're telling us. Uh, but Amazon will lower some fulfillment fees in 2025, which uh, may be the first time ever, perhaps. Amazon has announced that it will not raise U.S. referral and fulfillment by Amazon fees in 2025 and will even lower some fees to support third-party sellers. Key updates include reduced inbound placement fees for bulky products by 58 cents per unit and waived fees for up to 100 units of new ASINs under the FBA new selection program. Yep. Amazon will also expand fee discounts for new sellers and high demand essential products, making it easier for sellers to compete in key categories. These changes come as part of Amazon's effort to simplify its fee structure and enhance its tools to help sellers optimize shipping costs and inventory management. Uh, now, Amazon is saying the reason for this is because they're fulfillment centers and logistics are so awesome now so i call <laughs> big old tub of hogwash on that that's yeah, because, because they pressure. love sellers so much yeah yes. they absolutely love us we're awesome and they're awesome and we love them the relationship is wonderful and so now they're like you know what we're going to do you a favor yeah that is a that's a big tub of hogwash they are seeing a lot of pressure from other sales areas and or sales platforms and now they're finally taking some steps to help us because probably they're seeing it in their numbers yep yep i would agree what do you think kevin i completely agree with danon um i think that they're probably seeing it in the numbers there's always kind of over time i think there's a little bit of a dance when every time Amazon comes out with some new initiative or program, they realize they may have overstepped on some things. So they kind of trail back or they create some new thing. Um, at least with this, they're saying they're not doing new fees. I also kind of wonder if there's any concern because there uh, maybe even the election, uh, you yeah. don't want to get into politics or anything like that, but you know, you have the FTC, you have a new, administration coming in and maybe there's fear of what that new administration might do so i i i think you're right about that kevin is uh I, I think that's a driving factor for sure i believe that's also probably why they launched hall uh mm -hmm. really quickly um and probably also a, a byproduct of launching it so quickly is that they've not had the chance to go through and look at what's actually on there um, I know that we're going to cover that in a, in a little bit here, but, uh, yeah, it's, I, I think, I, I, I think I said this last week, I believe this is a cash grab for Amazon. They're trying to get as met as much, as many dollars in the door as they can before some drastic, potentially drastic change comes down the line, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, as we reported in the past, the inflation on Amazon has outpaced inflation in the general economy. Mm. So There's I been think it has in the general economy. Yes, exactly. And Amazon has outpaced it primarily because of the fees that they've introduced, especially in 2024, which uh, Jax and I like to call fee fee mageddon, right? <laughs> fee mageddon. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, in February when they introduced those inbound placement fees and the low inventory fees and everything. You know, all that did was just jack up the price of most of the products to some extent. Yeah, we ate some of those fees, but the customers are eating the mm -hmm. other parts of it. So yeah. it might be kind of a reaction from that. They're like, OK, let's cool it a little while here and see how things shake out. Yeah. We also have to take into consideration that when these things come down the line, they're probably looking, they're, they're not looking at uh, projections. They're looking at historical data, right? So they go, oh, okay, over the last 36 months, we had X occur. We need to change Y. And then us sellers, we go into a big old hissy fit because they didn't take us into consideration when they made that decision, right? They're just looking purely at numbers. They they could give probably 
zero shits about the small businesses that are impacted by this. Mm -hmm. They have to, they have to show it on their net margin, you know? Yeah. We're just a line item. I mean, it's, it's great. Uh, definitely don't get me wrong. This is great that they're not raising it and you know, For sure. trying to squeeze our margin even further. Yeah. Um, but I think it just shows that Amazon has realized, okay, maybe we went a little bit too far last year because they it, every year it's become just a normal thing they're going to yeah. increase the fees and for all of a sudden you're like ah oh, never mind we're not going to increase the fees this next year um they're realizing something i mm -hmm. hope you're right i mean at at accelerate they were pulling all manner of sellers into breakout sessions for interviews and stuff like that and they did some I did, I think, two interviews, and they were very comprehensive, you know, mm. um, where at least the people that are on the teams for what they were interviewing for were very interested, how does this affect you, right? And that's yeah, really right. uh, heartwarming. Uh, I just – and and if that's the case, then this could be a representation of that. But I, I just don't believe that they're doing this out of their good hearts – toward the Amazon seller. I believe that there are other reasons. Yeah, we just are benefiting from it is what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I'm not unhappy about it. Of course. Yeah, well, take take the win when you can. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jackson? Any any thoughts on why they are keeping fees flat? Oh, well, yeah. Probably nothing <laughs> you guys haven't already said, but I, I think they know that there's only so much appetite of acceptance for that and sure. you know everybody's still essentially reeling from the changes last year because even like what we've been helping people with try to figure out awd and the placement fees it's like if you did that really great through the summer and the fall you're in good shape but if you tried mm -hmm. to adopt it q4 sorry out of luck there's no advantage for you you can't even get away from the placement fees and you're paying higher shipping rates because of how crazy and chaotic things have been this Q4. So I think they're probably just like, let's give this, the sellers sort of a psychological reprieve while everything's hurting <laughs> as much as possible mm -hmm. and um, make them feel like, okay, good news at least. But if you look into the fine print, it's sort of nothing burgerish to me. It's like, okay, no placement fees on new products for the first three months of next year how many of the broad market just happened to be launching a big enough launch in that period, that brief period of time that this is going to save them more Dur than a few during thousand bucks, you know, during Chinese yeah. new year, no less. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like they're basically giving a discount that's going to affect like, I don't know, five or 10% of sellers at the most, you know? Yeah. The, the discounts, the discounts are, are mostly meaningless. You know, the, the decrease in the, the oversized products, uh, you know, that's a good thing. 58 cents is nothing to sneeze at, but everything else is just kind of like jump through all these little hoops and maybe we'll give you a penny back or something like yeah, that. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. yeah. The oversized uh, change is good. Everything else is just nothing burger. I, yeah. I think it boils down to things aren't being increased. Yes. That's the big, Which we'll big take thing. It. The yeah, big benefit we'll take it. for sure. Um, you know, I mean, they're already too high in my opinion yeah. Yeah. as they are. So they actually need to go backwards the other way. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, not raising it is better than raising it for sure. For sure. Yeah.